Hey guys, it was almost three months since I attached my mocha builds, which is a little bit embarrassing, but sometimes you just don't feel like modding or just too busy with work and you know how it goes. A lot of uh, high profile projects are lingering for a while and I'm not an, an exception here. But uh, today I hope to finish my tube wiring because most items in the place, I only need to connect the uh, GPU um, to my uh, pump and uh, to a reservoir and other side a little bit tricky portion here uh, because the spacing is very small between uh, um, different parts like CPU, memory block and the radiator and also memory block is um, and memory itself a little bit flimsy construction so you can't push too much uh, pressure on them otherwise you can break socket so it would be a little bit challenging here should be careful hopefully no physical damage to motherboard and then we conclude the loop with connecting to reservoir and that will be it so we can try to feel and see if there any leaks or anything like this i hope really no leaks because honestly to disassemble bloody thing is like one hour of work because it's so tight and um, i'm not sure how many comments i can offer because it's pretty relatively straightforward task i will do it show you different snippets of work and um, we'll figure it out how it goes um, it's always you think it will take you five minutes but it takes you like six hours so <laughs> let's check it out okay let's start with the simplest task and uh, connect GPU because it's nothing is abstracted um, and it's pretty easy to do so to get a warm up um, I would probably prefer to put 90 degree fitting so they look um, almost identical um, but um, it's really pain to put it in place because it's um, one fitting hitting other I'll just go lazy route and uh, use uh, this R3 90 degree fitting which is takes much less space and um, we put screwed in without any trouble so two items will be tubing would be on the same level but instead of killing my fingers I'll just put it in place in a couple seconds all right so now I'll keep this tube relatively long because I want to keep it straight and for that I need a little bit of uh, tube run and uh, basically I need to figure out how much tubing we need to cut and just do it Not to forget the cup, which is my typical mistake in such situations. Okay. Ready? Now I have this tube run. I can try to put it parallel. And the uh, second tube run is going from radiator. We don't need this cover. With radiator and let's remove cup again. And just uh, measure it. So a little bit. That's a nice connection. I think it looks pretty good so far. I like this part of the build, it uh, looks relatively clean. Just need to remove my fingerprints from the GPU, but it's, uh, it's actually pretty nice for such a tight case, not uh, as messy as uh, I would expect. Still need to run those two wires from fans, but other than that, pretty pleased. Okay, and now, now the hard part. Hard part would be connection here, here, and final connection. All right, settle on a black tubing, and um, oh. let's try to put those little connections here. Would be too easy. Because of the distance such short. 
And at this point of game, you have to assemble it uh, as is, basically, because uh, you can't remove a radiator anymore. Things get connected. So you have to work on exactly assembled system. So, yeah, small cases are not for people with big hands, that's for sure. It's almost impossible to do here. Yeah, black is a good choice. Goes well with uh, fittings color, goes well with black PCB of motherboard and GPU. So that's actually looking back, probably would be a smart way to do this connection first with remove the radiator and then finish it finish connection that I just did but now it's a little bit too late well sorry I probably wouldn't show you much but um, I'm really struggling here so if I make perfect angle you probably will never assemble the system but it looks like I ended up cutting tube too short oh my god Okay, but I won't do that mistake second time. Once I cut it a little bit short, I said, oh, maybe I'll just put kind of tip of it. On the feeding, it will be okay. No, it leaked. It's the first time I work with only two models, um, modules water pulled for the memory and the whole assembly is very easily can be moved and uh, put out of circuit. When you have a four modules, you have a much more sturdy construction. So a bit struggling here. I'm trying to keep it straight because you don't want your memory failed just because it went out of circuit or completely break motherboard. Possibility as well, if you're not careful. Okay, but I think at least two more or less in space in place. So I'll try to put cup in. No, the whole thing a little look a little bit crooked. But um, the reason for that is that they're not perfectly aligned. And you can see it now with tubing. Without tubing they look perfectly fine. But um, now with um, tube installed you can see that angles are not that perfect yeah this time I better monitor all connections pretty good because um oh jeez it's like cracking on the motherboard okay anyways um, the last thing that left we need a 90 degree here will be tough to do as well. Yeah, I should be doing those connections first without radiator installed, but now it's a bit too much pain to remove these things. I can't even put tube on a damn fitting. Unbelievable pain and this. I swear, my next build, big freaking case. All this micro ITS business is uh, for total nuts. Whew. Hey, on a bright note, I think, I think we're done. With only one exception. 
only one exception. Uh, we don't have a fill port or drain port for that matter. We can do it from the front here. position is bad. So we need to reconsider reconsider the computer position to do it correctly. Alright, can't feel through my original plan so I will try slightly different way of uh, filling this up not through the front. I'll try to fill it through the reservoir on top of uh, reservoir pump assembly and we'll see if it will help a little bit more I think the reservoir below is um, so tiny it doesn't really work well as a exchanger for all this air that is sits inside of the system right now so for that reason I think I will have much more success if I, I'll go and connect filling tube right here. Stop. And we'll see how if it will help or not. I have a liquid kind of going through a little bit, so I see it inside of CPU, but um, the no proper flow as yet. So for that reason I'd like to see if I can do it slightly differently. You see now something going on. Before I put water and didn't even take it. But uh, let's see if it's actually did any difference in terms of uh, fix that reservoir here for a second. I think I see a droplet of water, but I'm not sure what it's coming from. Let's monitor it. Now I can see if the stuff is going, so let's um, set my water. Okay. Now the system works. Yeah, definitely it's fine. Let's see if we're all going pretty strongly. Um, Still some water trapped in one of the chambers of this reservoir, so we we'll need to get rid of that. Um, and uh, let's see. But I think I might have a leak. I'm not sure, but 
There's one one spot. And it's coming. It's coming from uh, Things come from radiator actually. There's quite a bit of disappointment. Yep. Crap. Yeah, I have a leaking rod. Screw that. So much work. Okay.